so that's a really good sign. Okay, sometimes teams that are going to become good teams have to find a way to win games, even when it's not UCLA the UCLA head coach Jorge game. Salcedo addressing his team, and you heard it there, finding a way to win the game. They do that tonight with a late penalty kick, compliments of Brian Iloski to come away with their second win of the season. It was almost going to be headed to OT thanks to that young man. Enrique Adame was just huge in particular in the second half, Kobe. It was save after save. Yeah, he was absolutely brilliant. Talking about a key goalkeeper knowing his angles, great positioning, stretching himself out fully. And like you said, it was save after save. He kept his team in this match. There was a sequence which you saw just there in the span of about 90 seconds where he came up with three or four huge saves. And then just in the final minutes, Santiago Herrera taken down. Ian Anderson, our referee, points to the spot. Maybe some controversy if that was a penalty. The replay certainly showed it was, and Alaski finishes at home. Yeah, hey, hey, no controversy for me. That was a penalty. And all the kudos in the world to this man stepping up as a leader, as a senior, and finishing off this game. Get him in UCLA the goal. Fourth goal on the year for the redshirt senior from Escondido, California. And the Bruins improve to 2-2. Two and two. Now they turn their attention to number three, Clemson. It'll be a week from tomorrow. And then they come back here to Drake Stadium to take on the Matadors of CSUN before they begin Pac-12 play against Cal. You'll be able to see that game right here on the Pac-12 Network.